Hello, my name is Mike Grainer and I'm with eWrench.com. This video is about how to install an Ubuntu LAMP web server 12.04 long-term service into Microsoft Hyper-V. Since Ubuntu now comes with Hyper-V modules integrated into the Linux kernel, this is the easiest Hyper-V install so far for Ubuntu. The outcomes for this video would be to configure a virtual guest with dynamic RAM, for the Ubuntu server, install Ubuntu LAMP server 12.04 LTS with OpenSSH and Microsoft Hyper-V. LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So you've got a good start there for a web server. And Ubuntu's OpenSSH secure shell allows one to log on to the server remotely. And finally, the last thing we'll do is update the Ubuntu server with an upgraded kernel and verify that the Apache web server works. Requirements, of course, are Microsoft Hyper-V with administrative permissions, an Ubuntu server ISO file, and enough RAM on the host to use dynamic RAM for the Ubuntu server guest. To create a new virtual machine in Hyper-V, go to the Hyper-V Manager, click New, Virtual Machine, and we're going to use the wizard. Next. Since this is an Ubuntu virtual machine, we're going to pick a name of LAMP Ubuntu 01. And I always like to store it in what location I choose. In this case, it'll be Browse. And right here it is, Public VMs Hyper-V. And it'll make create its own folder there for the uh, LAMP Ubuntu Click select folder and click next. And in this case, we're going to pick 1024, one uh, gigabyte of memory. Click next. We're going to pick a network card for it. External NIC net. You should have some virtual networks already created for your systems, for your virtual machines, I mean. Click Next, and we're going to create virtual hard disk. I'm just going to take the default settings. Click Next, and we're going to install an operating system from a boot or CD-ROM, which in case this case will be an ISO file, and we're going to browse to it. And in this case, it downloads Ubuntu Server 64-bit. Now, you can install 32-bit. But 64-bit's uh, really the default installation. And simply select Open. Next. Now all this information is here, given here. LAMP Ubuntu 124, 1 gigabyte, external NIC net, hard disk, and your operating system. And simply click Finish, and it will do the work for you. Now one advantage that Hyper-V has is that you can have dynamic RAM. So if we go to settings and click on memory, right now it says static RAM of 1024 megabytes, but we can have a dynamic RAM of 1024 and let's give it 2 gigs, 2048 megabytes. And that way it can up its, if your virtual machine or your virtual server requires additional RAM, Hyper-V can give it to it. And everything pretty much else is going to stay the same. We've got one virtual processor here because it's running actually on a laptop. And we're just going to leave everything else the same. And simply click OK. And so now we have a LAMP Ubuntu virtual machine uh, ready to have the operating system loaded. Once you have a virtual guest configured for Ubuntu server, simply click on it and click Start. It will trend along for a while and your boot screen will come up. We're going to connect to it. And it's going to ask for a language. So I'll simply click English and you've got a number of choices. You can scroll through using your uh, up and down arrow keys. 
And we're going to choose install Ubuntu server. And again, it's going to ask for language, in this case, English. And in this case, United States. And unless you want to go through a lot of work, I always uh, ask it not to detect the keyboard layout. Again, English, US, English, US. You'll have to, if you're a different country, you're going to have to pick your own uh, keyboard layouts and, and you, you kind of know what you're doing there. It will detect your network hardware. Now it says configuring the network with DHCP. In this case, that makes for an easy install. I have reserved DHCP on setup. So basically, whatever DHCP uh, address it gives, that's the one that will permanently stick with this, this virtual machine. Host name. Now you notice there's a mouse not captured in remote desktop. I've been moving the mouse around. So just make sure that I'm in the uh, window there. Call it LAMP Ubuntu 01. Enter. Full name, in this case, just use Mike. Enter. Username, Mike. Enter. Make sure you choose a good password and verify it. And I'm not going to encrypt the home directory. This is a uh, machine, the basic machine that copy and, and play around with. So I'm going to click no for this. It's going to get the time and the physical location. You're going to have to agree or disagree with it or give it a time zone. I'm going to click yes. Now it's going to ask how you want to partition your disk. I'm going to take the default, use entire disk, and set up LVM or Logical Volume Manager. That The LVM will actually allow you to take two hard disks and actually configure it as one or set it up exactly how you want to at a future date. I'm simply going to click take the default, select the partition, and write to change the disk. Here's where you're going to have to do a shift tab or a tab and Click yes and hit continue, accept, and we'll let this thing install again. Tab or shift tab, and we're going to write the changes to the disks and come back when we're ready to settle up the, the lamp section. Okay, it asks for an HTTP. Proxy information. If you have a proxy, enter it. Otherwise, simply hit continue. You have a choice as far as uh, how you want to do updates. No automatic updates. Install security updates automatically, which you can do. Or manage system with landscape, which uh, is a fee-based system from Canonical. I'm going to select install security updates automatically. Now this is where you get to choose what you want to install on your server. In this case I'm going to select OpenSSH will allow me to and uh, get to my server across the network. LAMP server, Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. And once I've made my selection, hit tab, which brings me down to continue and enter. It's, while not mandatory, it's highly recommend you set a password for the MySQL. Administrative root user it should probably be a different password than you use for the uh, server. And You'll be asked to install a grub bootloader on a hard disk. Fault choices. Yes. The last screen asks you to finish the installation and uh, reboot. So simply click continue. Restart the machine. 
will take a while. And there you go. Basic simple install of Ubuntu 12.04 into Hyper Microsoft Hyper-V. Easy as pie. Now that we have Ubuntu 12.04 LAMP server installed, let's get our upgrades and updates. Make sure I'm in the right server window. And log in. And so we just simply do a sudo apt get update. We'll go through as long as you enter correct password. All the packages have been been brought up to date as far as what's available. And if we do an app get upgrade, we'll bring all the packages in, upgrade all the packages except the kernel. But since Ubuntu usually does a good job with the kernels, don't have any problems. So we're going to upgrade the kernel also. In this case, we're going to do sudo app get dist upgrade, which will also bring in the kernel as well as all the other um, packages and, and do a one stop upgrade here. So now we have a new kernel, 32025. You'll notice back up the page a little bit, uh, could not reliably determine the server's fully qualified domain name. name. Uh, basically, I do not run a domain name server here at this site. I simply uh, change the host file when I need to find uh, set up domain DNS. So now we've got a new kernel. Good thing to do is to do a sudo reboot. And then uh, when this comes back online, we'll check and see uh, whether the Apache web server is still working. Here we are. Let's log in again. Let's log in again. And you'll notice that it may say system information disabled due to load higher than 1.0. As the system runs, the uh, load will decrease. And we're going to do an ifconfig. And so 192.168.1.57 is the uh, IP address. Now this is running DHCP reserved, which means that this IP address will always be reserved for this server. Now let's go to a uh, desktop virtual machine and let's enter this IP address and make sure that the Apache web server is working. 192.168.1.57 and it works. And so now you have a uh, fully running uh, Ubuntu 12.04 server in Microsoft Hyper-V. If anybody has installed uh, Ubuntu into Hyper-V before, you'll know that this is the easiest install you've ever seen. Uh, thank you.